In lesson eight sprite properties and start at number three where we're actually doing some work here and this one you have um, a paint brush and then a palette it says run it to see where they appear change the x and the y values of the um, paint sprite brush to move it to the palette so if you look at it right now the brush and the palette are backwards so you want them to be together so i'm going to change this one to 100 and this one to 300, and now they're together. Now this one, um, let me go and start over because I fixed a bunch of this one. We have some music notes up here, and it's using rotation and scale to change the size and then the rotation so which like at what angle the sprites are at so it wants you to use a rotation scale box on the last two notes to make them look different so these two haven't been touched so if you look at note three i'm gonna go note three i'm gonna pull a scale and a rotation and note three i'm gonna scale it down to see what the other ones were 0.7 and 0.3 let's do 0 0.5 and then I'm going to rotate um, this one to the right let's do like 25 oops did I not write note I didn't note three gotta make sure you write the actual value in there so that one's tipped to 25 was that other one? Oh, was that 20 and then this last one, we're going to do the same thing. Let's make this go away here. And do a scale and a rotation. And these are note four. I'm going to do this one backwards. I'm going to do negative 45, which is going to look silly. Um, I think negative 90 would be even worse. And, um, oh no, sorry, I don't want to scale. <laughs> I want to scale it down to 0 0.8 and then my rotation will be negative 45. So it's tilted way back. That's silly. Okay, so scale property. In this first example, if you run this, there is a fly, a cow, and an elephant. So the normal scale of an um, any item is one. One is the normal size. Two is twice as big, and 0 0.5 is half as big. So we're going to use the scale property to make the picture look like this. So the tiny fly, oh, and the fish is hidden behind the cow. A fish, a cow, and then the elephant so we're going to mess with the scale here they're all at one so we're going to make them smaller we're going to leave we're going to do let's see the elephant at 0 0.8 actually let's see i bet they did a very specific value on here 0.75 let's do 0 0.5 for the cow 0 0.25 for the fish and 0 0.5 for the fly Mm, not quite. The fish is a little bit bigger. Let's do 0 0.5. I'd say that's fairly accurate. That's about what they had on there. And then rotation. In this one, you're rotating the cars to look like the image. So right now, they're not rotated at all and the blue car we're going to leave alone the green car we're going to leave alone the orange car needs to go all the way to the right that's car left where's car left here it is let's go to rotation and say car left and we'll rotate that 90 let's run it beautiful and then car right we want, that's a 45 degree angle. If you don't know just by looking at it, you could mess with it to see. So, because if I did uh, 90, it would be straight across. And if I went straight up and down, it would be zero. 
So in between that is 45, and that's a 45 degree angle. For your assessment on this one, it's getting the food to the right scale on the plate. So you're just going to mess with the scale till they fit on the plate, and you need one for each. And fries, let's do 0 0.75. Actually, let's do 0 0.5 because those are big. And burger. Let's do 0.5 on that one, and then we can mess with it from there. 0 0.5 for all three and see what happens. It's too small if you look at the picture. They're bigger than that. Um, let's do 0.75 for those fries. That's cool. And then let's make the burger 0.6. That's cool it kind of goes off a plate but i think that's okay and then that watermelon slice let's do 0 0.7 that's too big let's do 6 0 0.6 perfect um and then in the there's a tint block and then a height and width to stretch your sprites out. Um, if that's something that you're interested in doing and learning how to do, go and do the challenges. The tint just changes the tint value of the color of a sprite. So there's this creature. And if we go into the sprites and we grab the tint, we can say uh, creature and then um, mess with the tint. <laughs> um, oh, I think it probably wants a color name. I've never messed with this one. Let's see an example. Yeah, it's colors. I was like, one, why are they filling with black? So let's go in and say red. Aw, pink. Oh, that's neat. I've never messed with that, so that's kind of cool. And then the height and the width blocks. So you can stretch um, and squish your sprites to make them look different by changing their height and their width. There's this. We can make a very skinny giraffe by changing its width to be smaller. So if I say width 0.25, Oh, that's tiny. You can't even see it. Let's do a full pixel thing. Let's do 25 pixels. <laughs> um, how about 50? Still skinny and weird. Um, 100. That's a little bit more like what it looked like before. You can squish it down with height as well if you wanted to make a extremely short giraffe. <laughs> so, yeah, some useful things that you can do with sprite height and width.